Oh, there we go. Again, uh, and uh, that story, um, that story we had uh, got from my hospital. Uh, I think, yeah, we actually uh, first first read about that story uh, about Aaron and Abby. Uh, get, I think it was two years ago. Um, just about two years ago, exactly. It was it was uh, June or July uh, when I first uh, came across that story, and and it struck me because uh, it actually caught my attention. Uh, aside from being in the hospital, but uh, what really perked my attention about the story was that uh, the the names of the twins there, Aaron and Abby, are just happened to be the names of my two kids. And I was like, oh, wow, that, uh, that, is, that is a weird, weird coincidence that, you know, here I am fundraising for Extra Life. This is my seventh year of doing it, of participating in Extra Life, fundraising for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. And here's this really, really uh, great uh, story, great success story uh, about two little girls uh, who share the same name as my kids. So I, I always thought that was, hey, that's, uh, you know, one of those cool little coincidences uh that always come across so um yeah and again you know it's stuff like that that helps um that helps these hospitals you know showcase uh or stuff like that that showcases what we can do as gamers uh, the, the money that we can raise can really help the hospitals do stuff like that um so that's why i always encourage everybody to come and sign up at www.extra-life.org register to become a participant i mean if you're going to be playing games anyway why not just do it for extra life? Um, you know, it, it's great fun for a great cause at the end of the day. And we really are being genuine heroes for the kids. Not only us who volunteer our time playing games to raise the money, but obviously the people making the donations as well. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a two way street there, so to speak. It's a partnership. Um, you know, the fundraiser and the person making the donations uh, without uh, the two sides of those coins or the two sides of that coin, um, you know, Extra Life really wouldn't be possible. We wouldn't have raised almost $13.5 million in 2018 and looking forward to raising $15 million this year. So great, great stuff. Go ahead, sign up. It's never too late to sign up, never too late to, to raise a couple of bucks for your hospital. Uh, great fun for a great cause at the end of the day again. And just a reminder to everyone, this weekend, of course, uh, Extra Life is um, hosting a uh, special Pride event weekend. Um, of course, uh, June is is Pride Month for the LBGT uh, community. So I uh, got to support the brothers and sisters out there uh, who are part of that community. Of course, many, many of them are gamers and uh, we've enjoyed playing games with them as well. So June 22nd, 23rd, stay tuned for that. Of course, uh, hence you see our, our cool Pride uh, pride overlays we got on for today and you'll see that throughout the rest of the weekend of course on that weekend as well right here on the extra life for kids channel okay well let's let, let's get back to this here well let's get back to the ceiling tile puzzle because I, I had to go look this up because um i just i just there was no way i was ever going to be able to solve this in a reasonable amount of time for the stream anyway probably if i spent several dozen hours on it i would have the solution but we're going to see here. We've come. We've we found a guide that should hopefully help us uh, solve this puzzle here. So let's, uh, let's take a look. I got some photographs here I can look at. So that one's correct. All right. These. So that one's correct. This one I have to change to point that way. I think. Right. The problem is I can't see which way that one's by. I think this one down here is right. I think that's right here. Darn you. All right, let me see, because I got other photographs that are uh, larger size here. So let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, where did I... Uh... Oh, here we go. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, okay, I could get a better view of that. This one is, looks like it is indeed pointing the right way. So we have those set. This one 
that one is set as well. Okay. So right now we've got that section seems okay. Now let's take a look at this section here. Okay, this one, these two need to be, they all need to be changed here, okay. Make sure, right, yep, okay. That one is actually pointing in the right direction. This one is pointing in the right direction. This one is not, so let's change this one first. It needs to be pointing that way. This one needs to be pointing in the same direction. This one needs to be pointing down that direction. And once we solve this, I'm going to try to see how this is actually supposed to be configured here. Because, and this one is... In that way so I think right 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 so I think if they're like this they can go diagonal I think I think that's the bit I'm missing right right Right, okay, so all those guys are pointing in the right direction now. Um, so let's go over to this side. Right, right. So this one needs to be changed to point that way. Okay. This one needs to point at that one. Okay. That one is correct. This one is actually correct. This one needs to point this way. Okay, so we've got... Those guys all lined up there. Okay. All right. And finally, I think that's it. Everything else seems to be pointing in the right direction. And it's still not working. Oh, this is going to stink. All right, so let me see. What do we have wrong here? So that's pointing there, that's pointing there. That one points there. Points to there. That one points to there. Which points to that one. I'm assuming this one points to that one. Which points to that one. Which points to this one. It's still, yeah. So let's go up. Points to there. We go this way, this way, this way. Yeah, so I still, I still can't figure out what points to what. This is very, very confusing. So let's work our way backwards. Trying to see if I'm missing any here. Okay. 
This one is just driving me nuts here. All right, take a look. Right, right. Oops, stop it. Right. Unless it's the one on the ceiling, on the floor, that's incorrect. But we'll see. Which one is that looking at? That one. I think this one is incorrect. I think that this one I missed here. This may be the one I have incorrect. Looks like it needs to be pointing that way. Nope, that's not right either. It needs to be pointing this direction. There. Ah! That was the one. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. Alright, so we have it. We, we've got it. I have no idea how, I, I got to look at this thing, because I have no idea how these things are supposed to connect, how this path is supposed, I still have, I still have not figured this out. All right, let's get the photograph. We've got that collected. Okay. Ah, oh, all right, so, it points, everything's pointing. So we got that right. So let's, let's just follow the pointing here, point. Point. This one's pointing this way. So it points this way. Down this way. So here's the first one. This one's pointing this way. This points this way. This points this way. Then this one points this way. Points this way. That points this way, points this way, points that way, there we go, points this way, which points that way, which points this way, points that way, there, okay, there's the solution, okay, wow, that I, I don't know if I would ever have been able to figure that. I would have just gotten frustrated <laughs> no matter whether I was streaming or not, just trying to figure this out without having to worry about the time constraints of the stream. I don't know if I would have tolerated that one right, because this way, right, this way it comes back, yeah, this way. Wow, that does a lot of zigzag. Well, there you go. If you're looking for the solution, there it is. There it is. Oh my God. That was, that was a tough one. All right. So let's, um, uh, where do I gotta go? I gotta go to, I got, oh, that's right. I gotta go into here, this room. <laughs> so confused. I even know where I gotta go now. Oh my God. Okay. So that was the last collection we needed and there it is that was the missing photograph there so we have them all boom we've got a blue button and here we go all right now what do we do with this thing? These are... Okay, these are all the... Uh, 
constellations. So we've apparently got to uh, figure out what constellations we need here. Do I... Okay, so let's we got two of those. We got okay. Resuming. This is what we're looking for here. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, these are the picture books. None of which have any constellations on them. Oh, dang it. Hold on here. Oh, oh, look at that. Is that an actual photograph? I see if that's an actual photograph of somebody painting there. Obviously, the rest of these would just be in-game screenshots of some sort, but I wonder if so that looks that looks pretty good. Like there'd be somebody here. Here's the uh... yeah. See now, I'll be... yeah, that's not a real person there. That's obviously an in-game uh, CGI there. That's that's definitely Alex, the you know, the boy. That's Astra painting. She looks so real there. All right. Anyway, um, none of Clementine. So under and none of Christopher. So seems we got that. Uh, that I have no idea what that tells us. We ain't got much left here. One, two, three. No relation there. So, um, so we've got a have clues that are somewhere. Uh, and there's got to be a reason that sent us back to the beginning here. So let's go. Uh, where was the room? Where's that shortcut? Is in here, wasn't it? I think there was the shortcut. Where was the shortcut? Um, this just takes us up. I don't think there's... This is what I'm talking about. Absolute confusion. Yeah, it just takes us up. Nope. Okay. <sighs> so you're discovering so many new new things now is like got me all I forget where some of the key. Oh, you know what? It was down the basement. Down the basement. There was. We gotta go downstairs here. Was that light on before? I don't remember. I don't remember if that light was on before. I have to go back in one of our previous episodes, take a look. All right, let's, um... I think it was down here, if I was not mistaken. I think it's in that room. Right. 
Yes, okay. Generator's still running. But it's got to be, there's got to be, it's got to be a clue to which. So like, like some of those symbols we found scratched on rafters and stuff like that. There's got to be a symbol. Matching one of the constellations somewhere around here. But how the heck am I going to find that? Where would I even look? Let's see, what achievements do I have left here? <sighs> complete the epilogue so there's still an epilogue well I have, we haven't technically completed the game yet I guess unless the epilogue is turning the thing on locate the backers gallery secret room so that I wonder if that's what I'm trying to find here the secret room oh I'm outside okay I'm waiting for this to load. I'm thinking this is the loaded screen I'm outside uh, read each of the backers' books. Find Mike's lost coin collection. I thought I found all the... I know, those Christopher's. So where's Mike's lost coin collection? Oh, and then they have some holiday stuff. And then there's one hidden achievement. I have no idea what that is. So minus the... Holiday stuff. I still have one, two, three, four achievements... One is to, obviously, I guess, to complete the game. And then two of them related to the backer's gallery. Because there's backer's gallery and the backer's book. Oh, you know what that is? It's the people, I guess this was kickstarted. So the backer's gallery is probably names of people, which is all the people who uh, were through Kickstarter or something. I bet you that is. And I don't know what Mike's Lost Coin Collection is. All right, so... Those are things we're gonna we're gonna be looking for here. Uh, first things first, I gotta see. Michael, Mike, Michael, under if he left some coins here, maybe that could be the Michael. Yeah, so that was for the generator. That this is our thing. That was the the college kids or something. Keep her money. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I see if there's any clue. To the constellations here. Oh! Here we are. Because that's, that's the pedestal. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Um, I got to screenshot this. All right. So I got to go find more of these things. So that's why that took us there. I know there was another shortcut somewhere else. So I got find. I got to remember where the other shortcut is. So let's uh, print screen this. Um, alt print screen. Thank you. We might do. We might actually be able to finish the game here. Um, paint, paint, paint. Control B. Come on. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I gotta go. F N print screen. All right. Right now. Oh, the screen. There we go. 
Control B. There we go. All right, so we got that one. Okay. Um. So there's there were four symbols. So there's probably oh look oh look what we got here. Did this just shortcut us to this one? Or no, this oh this was upstairs. So that the okay. There's the other one. Let's uh alt print screen there. All right, so let's uh, save this one. So that's what they look like. These look like the constellations. Okay. So we have to get these all together here. All right. Um, Let's continue through. So we've got two. Uh, so we've got to get to. Um, now. Um, I gotta get to the next section. Uh, which door was that? Was that the one upstairs? I think that was the one upstairs, wasn't it? Is it that one? Oh, this was the, this was the trophy room. Now, um, where was that? Where was the other locked door? How many weeks ago were we uh, were we going through this section of the castle? There it is. There's the other locked door. Okay. All right. So now I got to. Um, I gotta search for another pedestal here. That's the door we came in. See, I don't, I, I don't remember where any of these pedestals were. We were here. Oh, yep. Okay, here we go. Um. Let's print screen this. So we just need to find the one for the th third section. Where's the fourth section? We got the, the boat dock, chapter one. For the first section, chapter two, the second section. Oh, this is the second section. All right, yes, this is the second section. So we got to find the one in the third section. Okay, come on, we can do it. We can, we can, dang it, do it. Here we go. Let's do this. Do this, okay. Control A, Control C. Uh, let's go to this one here, thank you. Control V. That one's a little dark, that one's gonna be a little tough to see here. Okay. But so far, so good. Okay. All right. Um,
me head up here is good. Arrow Dash, Arrow Dash, Arrow Dash is back. Right here we go. This is the third section. Doesn't take us long. Okay, now I've got to figure out. Um, all right, let's back and awake again. Nice. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining me again, there, Dash. So let's just start down here. Um, now I'm not seeing. All right. Uh, was it in the wine cellar? I drop in for a few, waiting to make dinner, and getting ready for work in a bit. Oh, yes, back to work. Oh, yeah, there's the other shortcut, which I don't think we need now. We just need to find the pedestal in this section of the castle. Nice. Right, well, thanks for swinging by again. As, as always, it's good to see you. Fellow Extra Lifer Extraordinaire. Hope, um, and streams on, uh, everybody can catch Arrow Dash on Thursday afternoons. If I'm not mistaken, unfortunately I'm working, so I can't. But uh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you indeed for those links there. All right, no, not there. Okay, we went down there, so we've got to go back up. It's not, it's not down here. Yes, I am right. Excellent. All right, so we've got this room here. Let's search this room. I think we, oh, yeah, we were in here. It's not in here. So we have to, it's got to be upstairs somewhere. So let's see. Oh, there, there it is. All right, there's the last one that we need. I think, right? Should be, yeah, this is the fourth one. So this should be it. Alt print screen, paint, control V. Now I'm going to assume I'm just going to do them in order. Hmm. And we'll find out. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and save this into our Eyes of Aura folder for uh, if I ever play through the game again, which I probably will. Uh, games, Eyes of Aura, pedestals. Pedestal. 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 There we go. Pedestal constellations. Save. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I, um, I try to go back down. Go downstairs. Uh, this door, this door, this door. Here we go. Okay, here we go. There we go, Captain. All righty here. So the first one, let's see. The first one looks like uh, almost Pegasus on his looking downward here. That one. That's it right there. Okay, so that's the first symbol. Uh, the next one. Is that it? Yeah, I actually, yeah. It looks like it's that symbol there. Next one, it looks like the arrow head here. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's it. And then the third one is just the upside down Y. Yes, that's it. We got it. Two 
to all who made this possible achievement unlocked so yes that is for the people who back this game dang it i wish i knew it was i wish i knew it was on kickstarter so this is this is the backers gallery here oh there's there's one of the eyes of Aura. we get a close-up look of that now oh good god are these uh These, these, these must be the, uh, the big backers, the guys who uh, paid the big bucks to get their actual pictures in there. Nice. So what's this here? Backers. Here, okay. Here's the backers book. Far away, bring me the wanderers. Tell what's there. Curious to let you secret uh, hands. Nice. Okay. What else we got here? Just here. More puzzles. I guess that locks in for something. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay, so there's something in each section here, then, I guess. Some more backers there. They're there. They're the devs. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Hundred Stones Interactive. Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the uh, title screen there. We got that. Interesting things to look at here. Oh, what else? Is there some? Oh, oh that's just that one. Oh, what's down here? Oh, Packers book. Uh, you, my soul, magic, you never cease to please. Okay. Oh, Backers book. There we go. Turning back time. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four more things. Clicky, clicky here. Oh, Renfair, dude. Nice. Oh, another book. Is this a dream? Tom Vanderspeck. Okay. Oh, what's this here? Oh, no. So we have to figure that one out. <laughs> that book this is pretty this is a pretty neat way to honor the people who helped uh, support your development this is really kind of clever here all right there's another one all right three more things we gotta figure out here Probably one of them right there. A puppy dog. What's this here? Oh, that's just that. Hmm. Oh, what's over here? Ah! 
Okay. Oh, each one corresponds to a section of the room. Or, yeah, one of the back of sections. So that, we're missing that one. Oh, we didn't look at this, did we? Help possible Benderos in the eyes. Is that it? I didn't. There was something to read in all the backers' books, so I must be missing backers' books somewhere. What am I missing here? You know what the last one is? That one. You gotta figure out that one. Still don't know what that's for. I don't know what that's for either. Okay. So we don't have a clue for that yet. Oh, look. Here it is. Wow. Up, down, down, up, down, down. Up, down, down, up, down, down. All right. So you got those. I read this one, right? Yes. How many backers books are there? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's the coin. All right, that would that that was Mike Mike's coin. <laughs> so I'm looking at these things, I'm like they seem sticking out. It looks like I should be able to interact with them, and yeah, you can. That's <laughs> funny. Oh, here is one. Cool. All right, so there should be... How many sections are there? One, two, three, four, one... Two, three, four, five. Right? I think there was the one here, right? Yep, okay. So there's one. All right. So how many have we got? How many have we got so far? It's one, 
two, three, four, five. So we got that one, we got that one. We got this one, right? Should be one here somewhere. Gotta get them steam achievements, man. And we got this one. We got that one. pictures right we looked at all the oh oh there it is oh my god are you serious is that where you put it <laughs> all right so yep that that was the last one there zor commands also available all right so get all right so we got all the backer books okay all right so that means we can go this way A staircase. Right, so we're not quite done yet. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Head on down. Or does this take us back to the dome? Where does this take us? Ah, oh, it takes us back to the keg room. Well, how... the winery well how did we where did where's the staircase that's it's not the oh there's the staircase so that's the staircase that came from the backers room so now what do we do why did we come down here So I guess that's it then. All right, no, let's, all right, let's head to, uh, let's, I guess it's time for the beacon. It's, um, oh, I, it's the middle one here. There you go. We've got to, uh, uh, go upstairs, right? Where is... There we go. All right, so we got to the door, the door, the door, the door. Oh, we gotta go upstairs one more time? Oh, downstairs, we gotta go downstairs. Or I thought. I'm lost, now. I'm completely lost. Here we go, okay. This is the room we're looking for. All right, can I head out? All right. Thanks for swinging by, Dash. As always, much, much appreciated. Let's, um, I guess it's time to activate the beacon.
time to finish the game. All right, nothing else here. Okay. Let me check my Steam achievements. Let's just double check my Steam achievements here again. Uh, bad gateway. What are you talking about, Steam? All right, complete the epilogue, and then the rest are holidays, and then there's one hidden achievement, which I don't know what that's related to, because it doesn't tell you uh, until you actually complete the achievement, so you have no idea what you need to do to complete the achievement. All right, so yeah, so I guess the epilogue is setting off the beacon here or something. Okay. So it does have, it has a Halloween event and a Christmas event, so we'll definitely have to play it during... Uh, when those events are active, too. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, Oh, fabulous. Let's get symbols on. All right, so let's go open the other. All right, so it's not quite as easy as we thought it was going to be. Oh, my God, really? Okay, I'm thinking... This is, this is another one like, like that stone painting down in the cellar. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. One, two, three. Hmm. Puzzle. I might have to. Uh, I might have to shorten things up here so we can just get a move on here and get this uh, puzzle solved. So let's uh, let's get a quick update here. We'll we'll play another video. Because again, we are here. We should have ended 15 minutes ago, but again, Wire Junkie uh, was feeling under the weather. Um, yesterday so he uh, didn't think he'd be well enough to uh 
finish today, so we're going. I wanted to finish the game today because uh, I won't be back next week. I'll be away on vacation next week, uh, so we won't be back until uh, I think it's July 1st, Monday. Uh, so I wanted to try to get the game finished tonight. Solve the last puzzle here. So uh, in the interests of time, so I do have to go to work myself tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have to figure, figure this one out real quick. Um, so we're going to have to look up these last two puzzles. I'm just going to look them up so we can finish it off. And, uh, rock and roll here. So let's get a quick update on, um, we'll, we'll do, there's another, a, um, there's another Aaron and Abby video. We just played their, uh, their story a little while ago, but there's an update. There's a, there's an update on them that came out uh, last year. As I uh, remember, I think it was two years ago. I learned about the story and then they did a year update afterwards. Uh, and again, everything that we're doing here for extra life, I know I'm trying to puzzle this out. I'm not talking about extra life as much, but, um, yeah, we're playing games. Be a real life hero for kids. Sign up for X Life. It's just that easy. If you're going to be playing games anyway, play games. Save lives. 107 different countries represented in 2018. Let's bump that number up this year. Let's get this number to 15 million for 2019. Uh, great, great stuff. Support uh, helping kids get better just by playing a game. That's what X Life is about. Let me. Um, <laughs> wasn't ready for that yet. Be quick on the mouse. I actually wanted to do studio mode so I can update the uh, update the video here, and then uh, we'll get the updates if I can find it here. Ah, oh, here we go. Progress report. There we go. This I think is only a couple of minutes. Yep. Okay. It's about five minutes or so. It'll give us time to uh, look up how do we solve these things. And then um, we'll finish the game. And I uh, wish everybody a good evening. Meantime, I'll stick around. So let's uh, take a look at Aaron and Abby's story, shall we? Well, let me transition. Oh, man, that's just a great story. Phew, started tearing up there watching that. Uh, I couldn't even hear it, <laughs> but I watched it so many times. It's, I started tearing up when I, uh, yeah, it's one of those just great stories that we have, you know, generally happy endings all around. Those are the kind of extra life stories I like. I like to watch because it just shows that, you know what, we can make a difference. And it's the money that we raise here at Extra Life just by playing games, you know, allow stuff like that to happen. And, uh, it's why I uh, continue to do this. I've been doing this for seven years now, uh, participating in Extra Life. In fact, this is, uh, in fact, I think next week, the, <laughs> the week, of course, I'm not going to be streaming is my third anniversary right here on the stream team as well. Uh, so I've been doing this on the stream team uh, for three years now, you know, encouraging people to sign up and and uh, make a difference for the kids of uh, the hospital they choose to support as well. As a matter of fact, Aerodash, who was here just a little while ago, uh, he is one of my stream team recruits. I encouraged him to come join the stream team. And if you are a streamer, uh, you're more than welcome to join us on the stream team and do what we do here um, as well. I've, I've enjoyed the three years of doing this. I've enjoyed the seven years of doing Extra Life. I just... It's great fun, and, and it gives me a, a, an additional thing uh, to do with my pastime, my hobby. Um, you know, do something good with it to, to make a difference. To make a difference playing games. Um, that's that's really what's all. Is that my hair? Yeah, that is. I got a little alfalfa going on there. But um, yeah, I mean, right here, www.extra-life.org. Uh, real easy, quick, and easy to sign up. Absolutely free to participate as well. Um, lots more stuff uh, as well I could talk about, but 
Uh, that'll be for another week when we return from vacation. We'll talk about teams and guilds and the platinum level rewards. We've talked about those uh, the last couple of weeks. Uh, but uh, let's get her finished here. Let, let, let's, let's wrap up the game. That way, when we do return from vacation, we can uh, we can uh, try to figure out something new to play. We've been doing, uh, I think we've been doing Eyes of Aura for the last, wow, almost two months now, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I have to go look up when we started playing. It's been, uh, it, it's been quite a few weeks. But uh, I am down here uh, in the, uh, the section underneath the beacon here. Because uh, it turns out I uh, overlooked a little scrap here, uh, which is another part of the clue for uh, the beacon upstairs. So let's head back up here. So uh, these two, so this this tells us the clue here, um, along with uh, this sheet and this sheet here. So obviously we got to figure out the numbers we need to uh, we need to scroll around here for. Um, so those symbols uh, equals three equals two equals one. So that equals four. So we're looking at uh, that dash equals. It looks like the dash would equal three then. as well three or four if we add it, it together this is three three times three is nine three plus three is six twelve two one two but anyway i yeah i looked this up just for the interests of time this one um This, uh, these are mathematics, which I did that anyway, so God knows if I was a, another one of those puzzles, like that ceiling puzzle uh, down the basement, probably another one of those I would never have been able to solve on my own. Um, it uses a base four uh, mathematical system here. Um, so with that in mind, we've got to figure out what all these numbers are, uh, what these symbols eventually translate into. It translates into one, three, four. So we've got to turn these dials to make, to get to one, three, four, like that. And it's just luck turning these dials here. Okay, so the next one, obviously this, not unlike some of the other puzzles we've done. In fact, the generator was one of them, uh, one of the very first puzzles. And of course, again, harking back to uh, harking back the um, to the uh, yeah um, stone circle puzzle down in the basement as well. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit tougher. We got to go three. Three to one, one to two, two to one. So we go three, three to one, three. So we gotta go three, three to one. Then this one, one to two. One to two. There we go. This one, two to one. And of course, this one is one here. Which of course, now we got to figure out how to get these things all turned in order to do them.
So we want that one there, because then we do this. I think that does it. Yep. And enter activation code. Well, again, this this one I probably would have eventually figured out. Add the activation code. We have no other. Right now, there is no other clues, right? Except the most important clue of all: Clementine. The eyes have always been interested in Clementine, so that is indeed the code here. Her name is the code. Probably be quicker to go back this way. See, come in time. Clementine. I think I spelled that correctly. I did not. That's an E. Clem. Clementine. Men. Oh, there you go. Queen Men Time. That's correct. She may unlock the eyes of Aura. Yep, so that was the epilogue. The beacon is activated. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, are we forming a wormhole now? I was about to say that was, uh, Just called down the mothership. Uh, oh, and it went away. Ah, excellent. There we go. Now there's something to do with the credits here. Uh, uh, we got to use to go back to the telescope here. Let me uh, go back to my cheat sheet here. Now, apparently, we can replay the credits as often as possible, so that helps us there. Ah, okay, there they are. Twenty-two and a half hours it took us to solve, find 100 coins, 7 figures, 24 photographs, and 3 paintings. This is, this is a rather enjoyable game.
Excellent. All right, so let's head back to the telescope here for the final puzzle to be solved. One last puzzle. So those symbols, uh, those symbols that appeared in the credits, again, uh, uses the same base four uh, mathematical solution that um, the one part of the the one uh, g um, part of the beacon did. Um, so you figure out what that is, and that translates into coordinates that we put into the telescope here. And the coordinates are 49, 20, and 12. That translates into 49, oops, 20, and 12. Okay, so let's look through the telescope. 100 stones written in the stars achievement. There we go. Sweet. The secret little message. And that's the achievement. Boom. So I think that's all the non-holiday achievements here. So we managed to complete the game and get all our achievements. Yes. Okay, so that's the hidden, that's the hidden achievement. Um, that's what the hidden achievement was there. Okay. I thought that was, okay, the epilogue was turning the beacon on. The one hidden achievement was solving the, the credits puzzle. So there's four achievements left. Yep, only, the only four achievements left are the holiday achievements. And boom, we got it. We're done. Game complete. Sweet. That was enjoyable. I, uh, definitely enjoyed the game. Uh, it's a very good game, indie indie developed game, and uh, you no, know, just one of those games. It's just um, so fun to play at the end of the day. So uh, not bad, you know, 22, 22 hours, and you know we you know had, we had to cheat here a little bit at the end to get it done for the stream, but um, yeah, it's it's a nice solid effort, and of course there's some holiday content to look forward to. Uh, uh, coming up, uh, you know, in the fall and winter. So, uh, we'll probably bring Eyes of Aura back to, uh, partake of some of the holiday content right here. But in the meantime, that is it for me, everyone. Thank you for sticking by us today. How long did we go? Almost three hours. Almost three hours to get the, fi to get the game finally, uh, finished here, uh, right before we leave for vacation. But much, much appreciated, everyone, joining me today. Uh, again, sign up for Extra Life, www.extra-life.org. Uh, if you're a stream, you don't have to be a streamer, but if you are a streamer, uh, apply to join us right here on the stream team. We'd love to have you do what I what I did tonight. Play some games, talk some Extra Life. Uh, but you don't have to be a streamer to participate. You don't have to be a streamer to raise money for your hospital. Uh, most of the money I raised uh, over the last seven years have been you know, about 95% of the money I've raised in these seven years have been all through friends and family and the other five percent just uh from uh, some of my viewing audience but uh 95 percent all friends and family and, and you know it's always much appreciated when people support you either your friends and family support an effort you make uh, especially when it involves gaming you know we get a lot of negativity tossed around our community extra life is something uh wholly positive um to to really rally behind and uh and get some uh notoriety for uh really at the end of the day because uh we're saving kids lives uh just by playing games 
you know, uh, we can rally behind this as a community. We can save lives and, uh, you know, and uh, really unite everyone from around the world, 107 different countries. So no matter where you are in the world, uh, come join us. Uh, you know, I, I already know there was uh, three people. In fact, um, was it last week or the week before? Uh, someone from England, uh, Great Britain, uh, registered while I was streaming. I uh, registered to participate. And like I said, uh, I know a couple of uh, other uh, extra lifers from Great Britain um, as well. One from Germany, uh, a couple from Austria as well. Uh, I don't, you know, uh, know some of them personally, but, you know, just through streaming and that kind of stuff, uh, I've watched them. But, uh, yeah, Extra Life. Great, great cause here for us to rally behind. And at the end, they save lives just by playing the game. Uh, so thank you for joining me, everyone. Like I said, I will be off next week uh, for some R&R &R with the family. Uh, but I'll be back here, I think it's July 1st, am I not mistaken? Yes, July 1st, uh, I shall return right here, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Times, right here on the official Extra Life for Kids channel, uh, with something new, a new game. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking a zoo game, some animals. I know Planet Zoo, uh, is, is coming soon. Hopefully I can get into the beta. In fact, I, uh, pre-ordered that, so I should be able to get, uh, get some, uh, early access on that i think that is part of the pre-order you get some early access so uh looking forward to planet zoo so you can definitely bet we'll be trying that towards the end of the year um once we can get our hands on that but uh i'm thinking wildlife park uh one of the wildlife park games uh for when we return for the month of july uh something a little different something that i played for 100 days of gaming this past year and uh kind of you know i always dig the zoo games and the animal games that kind of stuff so uh I know we've done the Zoo Tycoon in the past, so why not Wildlife Park? So I, I think we'll we'll do that upcoming. But in the meantime, you can catch me on my own channels as well. Um, let me do this streamer. As uh, like I said before, uh, this channel here, Channel Real Millennium Group, is where I do all my extra life streams. Variety gaming, so I play uh, all the games I love to play. Uh, I play on uh, Real Millennium Group, classic games, MMOs, uh, PvP, uh, competitive games. Um, hidden object games, indie games, uh, all sorts of things we play there for fundraising for Extra Life. You can also catch me, of course, uh, as BJ Weiler on channel BJ Weiler. Uh, again, uh, mostly MMOs, indie games, and uh, classic games on channel BJ Weiler. You can also catch me on uh, channel RMG Gaming uh, right here. Channel RMG Gaming 2 as well where I do simulation gaming, uh, Euro Truck Simulator, Train Simulator, American Truck Simulator, Farming Simulator, all the simulation type games uh, I have dedicated to that channel. So, uh, yeah, three three different channels, but uh, all compartmentalized just to, uh, just to make it easier for if there's something in particular like you can just follow that one channel. So uh, you can catch me all across the Twitterverse uh, there. But thank you for joining me, everyone. I am BJ Weiler. Until next time, see you in a couple weeks. So uh, that's when I'll be. Until, ne until then, I will see everybody in game. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Stay safe and have, uh, have some fun this week. If you don't have to work, even if you have to work, try to have some fun. That's what I try to do, although it's kind of tough at the end of the day. But thanks, everyone. I'll see you in a couple weeks.